When we last left off, Liv had a uh, tough decision to make about uh, saving her brother. Yeah. I, you know, we only go back to shoot season two in a week and a half, and so I have been like hovering. I literally went down to the writer's room and like sniffed around to try to get as much of the next season as I can. They won't even tell me a lot of what's going to happen. I've, I've got a couple of ideas, and I do know what happens in regards to that, but um, I think people are going to have to wait and see. That's, that's a definite cliffhanger that we want you guys to enjoy. Um, where we go with that. Oh my god, so are we picking up right where we left off or a time jump? I think there will be a little bit of time that's passed, not a substantial amount, but um, it's not like a direct cut. Uh, was there a moment during the last season when you read the script and you I have to do what? Yes, every time I got a script, basically, it was like, um, okay, great, this episode. I mean, the, the one that actually threw me the most was the gaming, because just the amount of dialogue that I had to cover about, like, talking about um, technicalities with, like, role, like, what is it called? Role player? Um, wait, when you're the guy, like, in the role? First person. First person, yeah. See, I didn't know anything, so that was a little bit of a baptism by fire, but kind of each episode there's something like that, and that is the stuff that I do know about this season is, is they've started to tell me a couple of the brains that I need to prepare for so I'm getting my guitar back out and you know doing a few things like that so it's there's definitely always a bit, bit of a twist but it's also the best part about this job for me is like just that variety. Mm -hmm. What's been your favorite one? Uh, I actually I was really surprised I really enjoyed the reporter and like the just because it was such a departure from Liv I felt like um, there was something the alcoholic the alcoholic we haven't seen that sort of side of live where it's like she really flips out and is one person during the day and the evening, you know, is dealing with something pretty pretty severe. But I had a lot of fun with that one. I thought it was interesting and, and kind of a very complex brain to take on. Yeah. Um, I'm from Germany and your show will start in a few weeks. Oh, great. Season one. Great. So, uh, what would you say? Why should people watch yeah. uh, Because you get in, in your lead character you get such a number of different characters. I feel like we get um, a chance to meet and explore all these different avenues and um, it's got a little bit of something for everyone. Hopefully they find it funny. We, we, we feel like it's a pretty funny show and it's um, it's got you know, a good amount of suspense to the show. You talk at all about uh, what the major and Liv relationship is going to be like now that he knows. It feels a bit like Ross and Rachel, doesn't it? It's like, you know, just almost a good reason. Um, now that he knows, obviously the landscape has changed completely. I'm not entirely sure where they're planning on taking that yet, but I do think, like, um, you know, Liv in season one was able to explore a relationship with a zombie, and that's sort of shifted the ground a little bit. It wasn't like nature is the one and only now for her, but obviously she's not over him too, so uh, I'm curious as, as much as you are to see what they do with that. And then so we saw that um, Peyton found out about Liv and that was tough because she then left her, and we didn't see her in the finale so is she coming back pretty soon in the post in the second season? She's definitely coming back. Um, I I don't think I don't think we see her immediately, but um, yeah, it's 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 pretty heartbreaking. I mean, you know, the thing that Liv has feared the most is these people finding out and abandoning her and Peyton has done that. And it's also understandable. It's like, you know, self preservation kicks in, but I think you know, and that's your best friend and you've gone through so much together and you've already had to end a relationship and various things have, have been huge costs for Liv. I think it's pretty heartbreaking that her roommate and best friend, the person she's always been able to go to, is no longer there. Um, so hopefully that's something that Peyton can come around to or able to make sense of. And what, what about uh, Clive? Is he going to be finding out? That, like now, He seems to be the only person left that you haven't told... Uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's so funny to watch. Not know. Like I don't want him to ever find out because I just love the humor and him, and him just constantly being puzzled by Liv. I don't know how how he makes sense of her at all. I mean, he must just think she's completely manic and insane. Um, but they enjoy each other a lot too, and I love the camaraderie that they have in that friendship. I think it's um, it's a lot of fun, and, and so far I'm wanting to find out about Clyde's uh, love stories, his romance. You know, I want to know. We, we don't know enough about him in his own life, so hopefully that's something I think we're going to explore a little bit in this season. Thank you.